<clears throat> okay, four boxes is an independent psychological thriller. I'm not going to say horror, I'll go with thriller. <clears throat> you have these two buddies who essentially are like professional eBay auctioners. What they do sometimes is they kind of do the estate sale sort of things. Then they're finding about a house that people kind of want all the material removed from and sold as well. So they decide to kind of move in there for a little while just to help get things organized, get things cleared out, get things you know, set up. Well, one of them decides to invite his fiance, who is the other guy's ex-girlfriend. While they're there, he mentions that there's this website called fourboxes.tv. It used to be kind of like a, a girl's voyeur website, but then she sold the house, left the cameras. So another guy is there. And he's doing all sorts of weird kind of creepy things. You know, he's got like a mask on the whole time, so you don't really see what he's doing. And when they showed the uh, the screen, it's done in four individual boxes. Four boxes, four boxes, makes sense. And there's all these weird kind of nuanced things going on. But every time they begin to watch it more and more, and it kind of becomes more a focal point in, in, their, in their lives, somewhat. With one of them going, dude, it's all fake. I was like, no, I think he's actually, you know, like a terrorist. He's trying to build bombs, trying to kill people. From that aspect, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. And this is low budget, so you pretty much have like three people. You got the two dudes and the girl. So a lot of this is their interplay with each other. You know, you got two guys, best friends, do a business together. One is engaged to the other's ex-girlfriend, who is currently kind of crashing with them. And as they're watching this more and more, it becomes more and more involving, it takes up a large portion of their lives, so they're actually not doing the eBay thing. One of them's kind of just watching this video, watching this, uh, this, web, this webcast, almost non-stop. And then it takes kind of a slight turn. When they realize exactly where it's being filmed at. Pulls everything leading up to it. They actually do a pretty good job with it. And the, the last half an hour, where they're really starting to put all the pieces together, is actually pretty entertaining. What kind of ruins it is like the last two minutes. But all in all, you know, from the standpoint of doing another one of those, you're watching something horrible happen on the internet. Is it live? Is it fake? You know, is it, are they actually doing these things that you're watching? You know, is it real? If it's not real, but it's really engrossing, you're still watching. If it is real, should you call the cops? Interesting taking it from that aspect. Hasn't been done before? Yes. This one throws in a slight different nuance it towards the end. All in all, a pretty decent movie when it comes to an independent psychological thriller.